During the live broadcast on September 11, Miles Guo mentioned that human rights are the greatest scruple for the Chinese Communist Party dictators. In order to find an umbrella for itself in the Xinjiang massacre, the Hong Kong massacre, future campaigns against Taiwan, and brutal zero-COVID policies in mainland China, the CCP has spent huge amounts of money to bribe UN human rights agencies for more than a decade, accounting for the highest proportion of all expenses. Between 2012 and 2017, the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, spent the most money to bribe the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, OHCHR, followed by global news and media companies, medical and health organizations like WHO, and lastly, the judicial system. The CCP controls OHCHR and the media to make its killing legal. The bribes spent on health organizations have encouraged the CCP to release COVID and its deadly vaccines. Even if the human rights abuses were to be discovered, the CCP hoped t. Had the bribes spent on the judicial system would prevent their actions from being judged by the law. Former UN Human Rights Chief Michel Bachelet was an official controlled by the Chinese Communist Party, and the nightmare in Hong Kong and Xinjiang began during her reign. Bachelet's report on the CCP's Xinjiang massacre went through several revisions. Bachelet cheated the CCP out of a large amount of money, saying that he would acquit the CCP and simultaneously working between the United States and the United Nations, to finally give a report that the CCP least wanted. As a result, the CCP's M. Oni went down the drain. The United States has defined the CCP as a genocide, and the United Nations' definition of the CCP's genocide is the top priority to destroy the CCP. The CCP has recently spent a lot of money to bribe new officials of human rights organizations, but the money has been wasted again. The new officials are definitely not friendly to the CCP and will launch the fiercest attack and pursuit of the CCP for its human rights violations.